Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video. This is Troy here. Uh, most of you know, and then some of you might not know, that um, I, I live in Central Florida in the, um, the shooting of uh, Trayvon Martin and the uh, George Zimmerman murder trial has been a, you know, a hot topic all around the country and even the world. But especially in here in Florida, it's, it's, a, it's a real you know, hot topic. And um, you know, it, it, it's a very tragic thing that, than when anybody is, is killed. And um, uh, first of all, I'd, I'd like to say that um, you know my heart goes out to uh, Trayvon's family. Uh, you know nobody should have to suffer through the death of a, a child. Um, and and I want to say they've they've uh, uh, showed grace and and they've been uh, uh, you know very supportive of the police and uh, and just saying that they want the, the truth to come out. Um, and uh, of, of course, um, uh, no parents w want to think and don't think that their kids will do, do anything bad or, uh, or, or capable of doing something bad. I mean, you see all these, uh, uh, you know, horrible, uh, other horrible uh, tragedies and people who, you know, murder people or the people that do mass shootings. And you see family and relatives and neighbors say, you know, I would they would never do anything like that. But uh, you really don't know. Uh, what anybody is capable of, even if they're your own kids, you know, some, something can happen. But, uh, you know, th th these people to me seem, uh, like I said, are, 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 are great people and, uh, you know, show that they love their, their child uh, uh, dearly. And so, um, when this happened, you know, you hear different things uh, in, in the media whether they're true or not, you, you really don't know. And then you hear different things that are leaked out before the trial even starts. And so when I heard, you know, you, you heard that uh, this guy uh, was a wannabe cop, uh, George Zimmerman, and he um, uh, he followed, uh, uh, and they kept on using the word uh, a 17-year-old uh, uh, boy, or they used even the word child. Um, and, and that's another thing is, uh, a 17-year-old is not a boy or, or a child. He, uh, Trayvon Martin uh, uh, was, was a young man. And they show, uh, most of the time they showed pictures when he looked like this. Uh, but, uh, you know, th this is pictures of, of what he uh, looked like when, when he was, you know, the age that uh, he unfortunately uh, w was killed. And, uh, and Th that that is definitely a young man. Seventeen years old is one year away from being able to join the service and and uh, you know serve your country and 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 might even die for your country. So, people saying seventeen year old boy, uh, you know, and uh, you know, or even a child. There was some people saying uh, that that's that's far from the truth. So let me say that, like I said, when this happened, you know. Uh, you know, I automatically said, you know, George Zimmerman is, is guilty. Um, you know, he's a cop wannabe. Um, he, uh, you know, followed Trayvon Martin. He was told by the police not to follow him. He followed him anyway. Um, uh, and and uh, he, he was looking, you know, uh, uh, to, to, to um, you know, take somebody out and, and shot this, uh, uh, this young man and, and, and killed him. And, you know, I was saying, you know, uh, even my fr uh, friends and family and, and everybody talked about it and you know this guy should you know get the death penalty but now that I've been able now that you see more and more facts that are put in the evidence and you, and watch the trial uh, I, I have a, a different opinion uh, my opinion is that George Zimmerman uh, protected him himself uh, from uh, someone who was uh, Trayvon Martin who was uh, on top of him, uh, punching him, uh, punched him in the nose. Uh, they say possibly the br his nose was broken. Uh, uh, his head was smashed against the concrete. Uh, there was bruising and and uh, different abrasions on the side of his face that that showed that he was punched in the side of the face. And he uh, and in Florida, you don't have to fear for your life; you have to fear for bodily harm, and you can uh, protect yourself with any means, including deadly force. Now. They said that the stand your ground law in Florida didn't apply, but you still can use it as far as self-defense. Now, one of the reasons that um, uh, it took so long for charges to be brought, uh, that the detectives in, in this case 
uh, and, and one of the lead detectives, and I'm trying to find this picture and I can't find it right now, um, they, they didn't think uh, that uh, the charges should be brought because uh, th they thought the same thing, uh, you know, that uh, he, you know, was uh, uh, being assaulted by Trayvon Martin uh, and uh, he, he was protecting himself. Now, the things that I've learned that I, that, and a lot of people might not have known that I've learned uh, watching this, this trial is George Zimmerman was, was on the uh, uh, neighborhood watch, um, but he was not like on duty at the time. Of course, when you're neighborhood watch, you're on, on all the time, but you know, it wasn't like he was, you know, driving around the neighborhood that night looking uh, to, to stop anybody. He was actually uh, going to the grocery store to get something uh, for dinner, something him and his wife needed uh, to make dinner. Uh, saw somebody that was uh, what he thought was suspicious with Trayvon Martin. Uh, and uh, m my personal opinion is uh, I, I think Trayvon Martin, I, I believe what they said was he was... Uh, um, uh, staying at the house of uh, his father's uh, fiance, if I believe, and and from I'm guessing, you know, it was rainy, it was dark. I'm not sure if he'd been there quite a lot, but I, I think that he was possibly confused on which one of these buildings was the building he was supposed to go to back to uh, to get back from the store, you know. And and it's and it's not against the law to wear a hoodie. It's not against the law to you know have skittles, you know, go to tea, you know. And, and, and people are using, you know, race and things like that. Now, George Zimmerman, uh, you know, uh, sounds like a, you know, a Caucasian type name. But if you look at him, he, he, he doesn't look white. So, uh, I, you, know, ra you know, people can be racist of, of, of different races. It doesn't have to be white, black, or black, or white. It could be anything. But race really, really should not play a part in, in this whatsoever. So anyway, um, uh I always thought that, that uh, you know, George Zimmerman was out on the street, you know, looking for people while he was going to the grocery store. Other things that came out saying that, um, that uh, uh, George Zimmerman followed him. Well, originally he saw him, he parked to the side of the road in a clubhouse. Uh, uh, Trayvon Martin passed him walking, uh, went into, uh, in between some buildings. He lost him. He was on the phone with uh, the police, but in the non-emergency line. Um, and uh, uh, they asked if there was an address. He said he couldn't see an address. He was in the back of the buildings. He went through, and um, uh, he said he could walk through and, and knew of a street. If he went through the other part of the street, he could get the address and the street name. Uh, they said, are you following him? And he uh, originally he said yes. When he did see him, they said, no, we don't need you to do that. And then when he said he was going to walk through the buildings uh, to get an address. They said, do you see him? He said, no. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave this at, at being as part one, uh, and, uh, and then we'll go on to part two.